Jesus notices a widow's offering from Mark chapter 12. Jesus and his disciples were in the temple. They were at the temple treasury where gifts that God collected to keep his temple and his ministry going were being gathered. And as Jesus and his disciples were there, a number of individuals came, including a number of wealthy people who took a lot of money and they put it in to the offering. And the disciples noticed that. Another wealthy person came by and put a huge offering in the treasury. That's all good. Those large gifts went in. That was awesome. But then a little lady, a widow, someone whose husband had died, which meant she didn't have a lot of support. She didn't have a lot of help. And she took just two small little coins. You might call those pennies or sometimes they're called mites, but just two little hardly worth anything coins and she put him in the treasury as well. Now what most people might have seen was that she didn't do very much, but that's not what Jesus said. Those two pennies, Jesus said, were really important in a sign of faith, and God was so very happy. Jesus explained to the disciples, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in everything all she had to live on. Now that wonderful widow, she didn't do it because she had to. She didn't do it because somebody was making her. She didn't do it because Jesus was watching. But she knew her God. She knew God had a plan to save her by her Messiah, who would be Jesus. And she just had to. She just wanted to be generous and give to the Lord's work. And she trusted the Lord to take care of her. And so she could put in everything, everything she had to live on. And you and I can learn from this amazing widow because God has given us everything by Jesus' death on the cross and resurrection so we too can trust and give everything to Jesus. We need to use everything we have for Jesus. Not that we have to give up all our money, but we don't have to rely on ourselves. God will take care of us. We can use everything we have to focus ourselves on Jesus and to move his ministry forward. That's the account of Jesus Notices a Widow's Offering.